all right, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if this is going to work out. But oh well. I needed to make something today, darn it. So here we go. So I have some uh, watercolor mm, tubes. I don't know what to call it. Got some uh, alcohol inks and I have some uh, acrylic inks. And I've got water. And we're just gonna we're just gonna make something. And maybe it'll be ugly. And maybe it'll be interesting. And maybe it'll just turn into a big brown pile of mush. That's okay. Because at least I made something. Which is more than I can say for last week or so. Sometimes you just don't feel it. Maybe some people are uh, confident enough that they can make something bad and Everything works out fine for them, but that is not where I live. I'm gonna make something awful. And it ruins it for me for a while, so. I like to try things, but. to at least hope they are going to turn out to be something. So. Which is kind of the opposite of what we're working with today. Don't really have a clear vision or clear goal. We're just gonna make something. And if somebody wants to watch it, fantastic. If not, hmm. Oh well. for this stuff instead of just red, yellow, green, and blue but hmm, that is just the way of it just the way it works just like Bo Burnham said that's the way the world works not that that's a good thing, but I'm using these because I thought it would make it a little easier to have a nice huge blobs of this stuff. As you can see, that is working out spectacularly. <laughs> Glad I at least painted or uh, 
drew a circle on here. So it at least started out like something. All right. Let me use this thing. stuff is garbage. <laughs> wow. That is an unimpressive start to my day. Oof. All right. I guess... Always have a bunch of brushes at hand when you're doing the same thing where you need brushes. <laughs> I know I'm blowing your mind with my wisdom this morning. A ridiculous amount of brushes that I bought. Um, kind of just kept buying brushes during COVID. You know, order some groceries on it on uh, from Walmart, and I just buy brushes for no reason whatsoever. Because never have too many brushes, right? And I don't honestly know the difference between watercolor brushes and acrylic brushes and 
everything else. So why not? Who doesn't just love brushes in general? I'm just babbling at this point. That's okay. Nobody's going to watch this anyway. Maybe if the three or four people who watch this video start to doubt my sanity, hmm, that's okay. Nice when you're using watercolor paper and it starts to warp. That's awesome. It's not like you bought it specifically. Because it wouldn't do that. Kind of the whole point of watercolor paper. Right? too much yellow.
Stop. Still wet. What's still wet? Dry it more. All right. A little bit too much color in here. All right, let's see what this weird blob dries like. All right, so here we are. This is what it looks like. Um, I think it was this way. No. I don't remember which way I had it. It's fine. Anyway, it's not... Uh, what I was aiming for. I like this part down here uh, and some of this stuff, but eh, it's worth trying. I will know to never again use uh, alcohol inks um, with any of this stuff and that uh, cheap, oh, 
that's the spots from the alcohol ink. So, never use alcohol ink on watercolor paper. It ruins it. Anyway, so here we go. Rainbow watercolor thingy for Pride Month. See you next time.